Hey, this is Uncle Mog with a three string shovel guitar, shovel guitar. And uh, I've got my little homemade slides. You can kind of see through it when I play. It's a little rough around the edges, but it is homemade. And uh, I'm playing through this cube here so that you can take a look at my settings. I'm completely on battery power and I use the uh, X Vive U2 um, wireless system. So if you like that kind of stuff, you can take a look at it. That'll give you an idea of what I'm playing playing through and how I'm getting this sound. Um, there's no pedals or anything. It's just straight into the cube. Um, so this is a tune called Flooding Blues. And uh, so this is a tune I really, really like. It's great. It has a really good Elmore James vibe to it. And it's really slick and it's really simple. And I also have a couple of little tricks I use when I play a shovel guitar and I try to get that rock and roll rhythm thing going on that, you know, we really like um, for our other other songs. Um, you can do it on a fretless, but on this thing, you can't really touch the fret. So I'm going to show you how I do that and uh, go through it a little bit right here. So here we go. <laughs> Got this morning, people. What is coming in my door? Woke up this morning, people. What is coming in my door? If I get by this time, I ain't never coming back no more. All right, and it just keeps going and going and going just like that, okay? So, there's a couple of tricks I'm using. One is um, I'm in open G. So this is a G, D, G. Just like all of my other videos, I'm not going to mess around with different keys. Makes it easy. Just remember it. Boom. If you, there are other folks out there that have different key, keys and different ways of tuning. That's all great. But for our purposes, we're just going to stick with G, D, G. That's a uh, 42... 34, 24, and these are all wound strings. Um, so just to let you know, that's how that works. Um, tuned open G, boom, okay? So you've seen what my settings are on the cube. Um, that makes it easy and simple. There's also a trick I use for getting this, uh, right? And what I do is, is I come down and up, but I don't try to come down and up this way. Okay, I try to drive through it so that, um, and it's something you got to get used to. It's not a this, I'm driving through. Okay, so I'm hitting hard, probably 70%. I'm hitting on that low G string and then driving through it. And then when I come up, I'm hitting about 70% on this low G string and pulling through it. If I don't hit any of these strings, if I just go, you don't notice the difference. Trick number one, don't worry so much about gaining it exactly perfect, okay? Just drive. Um, the Elmore James thing is a drive. It's a, right? It's not a, not one of those things, right? So that's the first thing I want to get out of the way is that's where you're at. Also, um, I do a little trick with the rock and roll rhythm. And we know with a fretless or with a regular guitar with frets, you can press down here and get that note, okay? But with a, with a you know, a guitar that's got the frets, you know, as big as your thumb off of the fret board, which is really what this is. You know, it's kind of imaginary, but it is a fretboard. What I like to do is just mute that note. So that's what I'm doing. So when I come here and play this, you don't notice in the overall scheme of things that I am not pressing all the way to the fretboard. It's kind of a cheat or a trick 
depends on how you like to look at it, but I tend to think of it as a uh, as a trick. And I'm just touching. Now you're going to have to find where that spot is on yours that makes it sound um, nice, right? You want it to sound really good. Um, so work on... it's all different and different scales and different shovels so find that spot that's pleasing and then forget about worrying about it just remember that that's the spot you go to every time okay we're going to use this trick a lot in a lot of our songs so this is also a one four five song with the one chord being open g the four chord being c Okay, and the five chord being D. Okay, there is no difference, okay, between this setup and anything on a regular cigar box guitar or any other guitar for that matter. G would be the one, C would be the four, D would be the five, no matter what any instrument it would even be with clarinets okay so that's just how that works that's the system we're working with that's like the scaffold okay so a G open is the same as a G up here and you can see through exactly about where I'm at um, when I come up to that G I don't just slam it because I'm not sure exactly where it is Okay, it varies a little bit. You're never exact with playing slide. Well, some people sound very exact, but you're never totally exact playing slide. So what I want you to do is kind of feel into it. So you're gonna... That's much easier than trying to grab it on go. Okay, so you're gonna play with a bass player or another guitar player. You know, you're gonna feed off what their G sounds like. Okay, same with their C and same with their D. You're gonna start hearing this, and so that's what I want you to do is to start listening. Slide players listen more than regular guitar players because they have to, um, because you're never exactly on it. Um, I play with a bass player who likes to play a fretless bass, and he's a real listener, and it's just dynamite to play with someone that listens so, so carefully to every note and every change. So, uh, so this thing starts out with a ba da 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 So you could legitimately do this song. I woke up this morning, people. Okay? So what I'm doing is I'm palm muting. I am coming forward off of this bridge and sliding forward. Right? And I'm delicate. I'm not like leaning on it, right? I'm just sliding in easy. So you take your palm like so, you know, and then just slide in a little bit and find that spot. And uh, it's a great tool because you can dynamically change from, right? Now you're louder, softer. So that's kind of how you want to play this game. If you play the same volume all the time, you're not playing dynamically. So I want you to think dynamically. Um, I have no volume control here. So you have to do this using techniques like um, palm muting, um, using techniques like just finger muting that, that note. But you still, you still hear a little bit of it and just enough to make it effective as a tool. Um, so, the song starts out just like so. And you'll sometimes see me use my first finger, but I try to stay, you know, like I would on a normal guitar, where my first finger hits these and these and these. Come up, 
There's my C. Come back. D is here. We're there and about. C is here. There and or abouts. And that's something you have to listen to. And that's why I come up to get that note. Can you hear exactly where it's at? And then the D. And then I'll come up to the C. The turnaround trick. Okay? This is an F note. E. G sharp. coming down with my pick on those. So that's the little bits of technique that I use to get all these things. Um, so when before I even start the song, I get a mental idea of what that G sounds like to my ear. Then I can, okay, now I'm ready. with this song, doing it just like so, and get used to this. Practice coming up. We're going to be doing about three or four lessons bi-monthly, doing exactly this with three different songs that are a little bit different from each other. This one is Flooding Blues. We're going to be doing Highway 49. We're going to be doing some more Elmore James stuff, and it all works in this framework. So I want you to get it. We'll also be doing some crossroads. We'll also be doing a lot of, um, a lot of these old blues standards that use exactly these Elmore James techniques um, that are just fantastic. So work on this stuff and get your back and forth, not this way, but driving. If you watch me, that's how I'm doing it. I am strumming it, not finessing it. Um, this kind of blues needs to, well, hit you over the head with a brick. Um, it's got to hit you hard, and that's what gives it its punch. Um, that's the kind of the word I was looking for. So, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. I want to thank you so much for everything you do for me. Um, I do have a uh, PayPal link down below. A buck a show is all we ask here. And uh, that link down below is paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Um, thank you so much. I've got big things coming up in the future. And uh, funding is always, always an issue. So uh, I want to thank you so much for everything you do for me, sharing on social media, all of those things. Um, really, really, thank you so much. And uh, like I said, within a couple of months, I've got some super, super exciting things on the books. Um, and all thanks to you, by the way. All thanks to you. So um, you are the ones supporting this, this TV show kind of show. I don't know if it's a TV show, it's a computer show, it's a YouTube show, whatever kind of a show it is. But uh, I want to thank you so much. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.